uh, what's up guys basically making a video picking up directly off from the last video maybe about um, five ten minutes after it um, just so you guys an overrun build and explain overrun and all his goodness that is it <laughs> um first of all let's talk about how cool Oberon colors is okay and when it comes to one thing that Oberon has colors like his colors is definitely it he has like the coolest colors in the game because like he, his shit just fades off like into some other kind of random color or whatever <laughs> But yeah, man, this guy, um, oh my god, that's pretty beautiful, actually. Like a sunset, doesn't it? Like a sunset. And he looked like he worked for McDonald's. But, um, yeah, this guy here, let's talk about him. Azu looks pretty cool. This is just noble. If, if you're a guy that like people standing up straight, which I doubt. Everybody just used Azu, because why not? It looks cool. And he, he has no helmets, by the way. He has no helmets, but let's start on building Oberon. Okay, now when we're talking about Oberon, we're talking about a very terrible person. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's do this over. Let's do this over. Okay. When we're talking about Oberon, we're talking about a new frame that uses radiation as his power. At first they said fire. Um I, I, he actually does have something to do with fire. Um he's he's a paladin war for me. A paladin. Fucking hey okay first of all don't use this smite sucks. There's only a few good places where you'll find that you need smite And nine times out of ten, it's not um, it's not going to be a place that you would even care to be. And the fact that it's auto that it's target, maybe that just makes it just a little bit more stuck here. Just dump some random mods in it. Hope I have enough. All right, there we go. Okay, the way you build this guy, let's start. The way you built this guy um, is strictly around his ult. 100% around his ult. Nothing else. Ult. Nothing else. You understand that? I said ult. Nothing else. Now, renewal is very good, actually. It's actually really, really good. Like, really good. Really, really, really good. Believe me. This I, you don't even notice it. That's that's the problem with renewal. His teammates don't even notice it. Um, I didn't even notice it because I, I never used it. But um, the way um it works is um he shoots out these little ugly three beams or some bull crap like that, and once he shoots them out. Uh, sounded a bit uh, nasty. They go to his teammates. They take a very long time to get there, but believe me, they get there. They go to his teammates, and then. Okay, one second. One second. Let me turn his volume down just a little bit. They go to his teammates and have to be healed. Now. It heals, it heals your health. It doesn't heal your spirit. That's why I say it's actually pretty good. Because earlier I was going to die. And um, I had an overrun on my team. I was going to die. I was going against uh, that little stupid, I can't remember his name, uh, Corpus Tech. And that thing just white wiped the floor with me. And uh, I was like, yo, what the hell? Dang, I know miss more shots, I don't see. But, um, I was like, yo, what the hell? And, uh, it was just whooping my ass, right? And then he hit me with renewal, and I was like, wow, that really heals for a lot. Um, let's see, I think that's okay. Okay, let's, let's 
Trying to get enough from my old should be how it works. Yeah, this guy is using it now. It's a good team so. But he has a sucky very good old. So I'm gonna show you it uh, possibly early next time. Where I just um, pretty much walk up to some guy and well not you know, I just pretty much blow up like all of the enemies. I'll show you the next. And um, the first one I showed you was Renewal, and now I'm going to show you guys Reckoning. Okay. If there was more enemies around, it would have uh, pretty much cut them all out. I don't know how much it targets, but I do know if you don't put a level in it, it targets like, like two people. It's that. And so you have to put levels in it. Uh, the next one is... is I don't know what to do. You probably got a little shiny carpet. And it does damage over time. See? 300, 300, whatever. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, it can pretty bad. This guy behind me is fucking bored. I wonder why I got a heavy gun over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, to this guy's abilities. His first one is called Smite. Uh, it is a target ability. We have to have a reticle on it. And it knocks these little particles around and bounces around on people. Uh, like I like I told you in the last video, this guy he's fun to play. Yeah, don't take him high. Don't take him high levels. Um, unless you got a pretty good team. But don't take him high levels and expect to carry. Let's let's say that. If you take him high levels, you won't be carrying nothing. And you guys might be wondering um, why I'm not shooting these torches in the head. Uh, I don't know if it's a fucking, some kind of weak spot or something, but when you shoot corpus in the head, you know, they just need to blow up. So, you can send some mass to their mass, and you just pretty much one shot them. And uh, I'll try to show you guys my ult one more time, perhaps in a bigger crowd. A lot of times I'll take out the leaves. Maybe 15. And the cool thing about it, you see these orbs? That's what um, he leaves behind uh, after he lands his ult. Okay, wait, I should, I should have a nice uh, amount of money to get. Okay. I got okay, I, I got you. Nice. Planes of a lot of people. And uh I can't believe I'm still on 20 frames while I'm while I'm doing this. I guess I start actually streaming. Uh, I do have a lot of stream friends and I do want you guys to check their check them out in the links below. And uh that's pretty much over on in a and um that's pretty much over on in a nutshell. You want to focus around his ult. Um, blind rage and stretch and focus. That's all you want to do. You want to have blind rage, stretch, and focus. And that's how you use Oberon. Um, using strictly blind rage, focus, and stretch. Stretch is for, um, I think, stretch grabs more people. Uh, blind Rage does more damage and Focus of course does more damage. You want to put a flow on this guy and streamline. I want to stress that because uh, this guy has low power ability. It's nuts how low his power ability is. And streamline because his powers take a lot. So he has very low power economy and he has and he his power take a lot of fucking stuff. Maybe that's because of the Blind Rage. I don't fucking know. <laughs> But yeah, this this guy is uh, he's okay. He's fun to play. I wouldn't recommend him at high levels. Honestly, I would advise farming him two times, maybe three times. Uh, you want to farm him right here and put a dash for energy siphon. Farm him right here, put a dash for flow, 
form him um, right here and you can put a max blind rage in the wait well I guess you can just max the blind rage right here but you want to put another form here somewhere and perhaps that will let you do you know you I don't know just try to get the blind rage as high as you possibly get um and you don't need rush this guy is slow as the fuck though so I would advise putting the rush in him like whatever um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much Oberon in a nutshell. He's uh, okay. He's not much of a paladin. He could have been done way better, but yeah, it's very cool color schemes and a cool ass ult. So, if you like what you're seeing here, pick him up, and I will leave links in the description below of my friends that I would love for you to check out their streams. Thank you, guys. Peace, love, and be sure to check out these streams because we do do giveaways. And you will enjoy these plat and grandma giveaways, trust me.